What is up, guys? Donkey Vincent here, bringing you another Halo custom map review. And today we're taking a look at a Halo Reach invasion map by Yarbird92, I believe. Yeah, oh, yeah, Yarbird92 and Abel Sir Thomas. And this is a very fun um, Halo Reach invasion map. Of course, all the invasion maps in the invasion playlist are all elite attacking teams, except for um, except for um, Spire. So they all play the same game type, it's just the standard invasion game type, so everyone has that already downloaded. There's nothing special game type you need to download or anything, but it's a very fun map, and they did a really good job. It really feels like you're in a, um, overgrown, like, like, refinery or something. I know, I already reviewed the map of refinery, like, maybe, I think yes yesterday, actually. A lot of these invasion maps I'm uploading now in the, like, the big team battle maps, these are all that I have left over from my bulk recorder of gameplay that I started in the beginning of the summer and these are actually time ones I'm recording the audio for now actually just like in the end of September so yeah these are finally getting uploaded and stuff and I'm, I'm happy that we're gonna eventually start moving on to Halo 5 custom maps so yeah that's a thing uh, I'll try to get some more Halo 4 ones Halo 3 Halo um, 2 anniversary or just eh, Master Chief collection maps but yeah um, right there you saw we captured the objective instantly there's two objectives of course every invasion map starts with two objectives usually uh, elites Right here is a little troll you can see him trying to camp the ban or the ghost spawn. I hate people that do that. Like that is my least favorite thing when playing invasion is the spawns that will come back and camp your spawn just to take your vehicles. So that's just another problem that needs to be fixed with every invasion map, which is probably why invasion didn't return. But yeah, that's probably not at all why invasion didn't return. I'm actually gonna honestly be that person that sits back here with the wraith and just mortar shell in. That's one thing I love to do with the wraith because that's what it's supposed to do. But yeah. Um, it is a very fun map, of course. Second tier, humans get just a Warthog, and then elites have a Ghost and a Wraith. And during the third tier, humans get a, access to a Scorpion tank, and elites get access to a Banshee. And I believe a Revenant, if I'm not wrong. But I'm, I might be. But either way, it's a very, it's also a very fun map, guys. Um, this was one I liked look, seeing uh, come up in the Big Team Battle playlist when I'd be playing. Of course, my favorite one is uh, Refinery, and then I would probably say this one, I don't know. I think, for me, um, what's it called? It's my least favorite. Floodgate's probably my least favorite one, and then I would say bef above that I like um, Broadcast a little bit more than that. So yeah, I don't know. I, there you can see here, I'm trying to chase down this guy who is trying to go and sit at my team spawn to go steal our vehicles again. That's something you need to take care of when playing this game because you have so many people that do this and it's really irritating actually. Actually, it's like, um, yeah, we're gonna do that, but if you do that to them, though, people will, on the other team will spam you saying, wow, you're cheating, going back to my team spawn, you might be like, okay, you just did that to me. Whatever, I'm not giving up talk like that. But yeah, right there, there's two objectives inside the, inside the main building that you have to capture, of course, there's only one of them. And that will unlock the core for you to grab, and then you have to take the core to the cave, it'll actually unlock the cave and yeah, and right there was essentially right there is the core. And I guess and there's someone going to camp where the core. Oh no, that's not the core. That's the core um capture zone. Of course, there was a sparring going to camp um camp it, but that happens a lot. But it's actually a very fun map when people are playing it how it's supposed to be playing and not trying to cheat or some other shit. It's 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 actually a very fun map. I do like how they have the spawning rooms for. Um, the spawning rooms aren't too broken, except for sometimes the vehicle spawn room is a little broken when a Wraith can just decide to go camp in front of it and instantly kill the Scorpion or Warhog. That happens a lot during games that I've seen. Uh, luckily, it wasn't during this game, but other games I've played on this map, I've had it where the elites will camp the vehicle spawn of the humans. So as soon as they go out of their spawn with the vehicle, it's hijacked immediately. It's blown up immediately and just just stupid stuff like that happens. But yeah, right there you can see the scorpion just getting wrecked instantly. The scorpion isn't too overpowered on this map because of the amount of rocks and everything that blocks its pathways and the amount of structures in the way to hit the ra or hit the wraith and hit the um, banshee. It, it's not that overpowered on this map. I like that. Right there you can see I went to kill that guy with the plasma launcher and nope, he decided to armor lock at the last second. Gonna destroy that warthog because it's gonna decide to camp inside the capture zone and doesn't get blown up or whatever. It is a very fun map, guys. Of course, Mark Randy will give this a download. Or if not, just go find it in the Big Team Battle playlist. Or not the Big Team Battle, the Invasion playlist, because it is in the Invasion playlist, and it's still in there, which is nice. 
I don't know, I, I like, I really like the map, guys. Um, so I recommend you guys give it a download as well. But other than that, I'm gonna get out of here. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Core taken. Elites win.